Well, go on traders. You are the traders here again. Another great start to the trading week, guys. So Mullen has done everything that we have asked it to do. So as you can see on my chart here, Mullen has um, given us a, a good little rebound of the support on Friday at uh, 26. And it ran up to um, 31, 32 thereabout. So that's the one of our old resistance, which we had mapped here on, on the chart. So Mullen, um, there is a good little recovery here so far. I, I'm seeing on Mullen. And um, based on the, the trend, it, we are, it's doing what we have, we have asked it uh, to do in terms of following this yellow trend line. You know, once it maintained that trend line, we should see it ticking up. Also, if you look at the moving averages here, guys, so the yellow and the blue, they represent two different type of moving averages. So once the stock um, maintain, if you look here, maintain um, the yellow line, if it's like a, a bullish move, then you should see it ticking up. But if it breaks below, the yellow breaks below the blue, the blue line, then that's a, a bearish trend. So right now, if you look at where we are, we're looking at the yellow line crossing over the blue line, the moving average. So we want to see it cross over and go above the blue line. And then we want to see the, the um, stock, you know, maintain that yellow line going forward. Also, RSI um, was at the oversold territory. We got some volume in on Friday. So it's not, has now pushed back up. Still a little bit in the oversold territory but um we want to see some volume come in to for the stock to actually try to break this old resistance guy old resistance at 32. so let's take a look and see what's going on with yahoo finance so as you can see with yahoo finance the stock has um given us a good move on friday it went up to 23 percent but pullback and we still got a net of eight percent and pre-market we're at around three percent in terms of um, market um, cap it has come up from the 463 million to 500 million so I want to see this keep on increasing the market cap also in terms of volume um, 281 came in compared to average volume of 226 million which is good. We want to see the volume um, keep increasing. So overall, for the stock market, it was not too bad because the S and P went up almost two percent. The Dow went up one percent. So it wasn't too bad overall. And in terms of the comps, um, all the stocks basically showed green on Friday. So hopefully, this is a turnaround for you know um, all the stocks. I'm not sure if this is. We have reached the bottom as yet, but you know, at least it's a good, very good sign. So let's take a look at the options, guys. So in terms of options, um, call volume came in on Friday. It, um, what we're looking at over the past couple of weeks was a total volume of 85,000 open interests. Actually, 89 came in, which is good. So we'll see what happens for today. For the next couple of weeks in terms of open interest, uh, let's look at what's going on for this weekend. This Friday, we are at 40,000. So this is a tick up. We're at 30 plus thousand when we look at it last week. So we are now at 40,000. So we want to see this increase in for Friday, guys. Um, February 3rd, 15,000. February 10th, 4,000. So hopefully we get some volume coming in for this this Friday. All right, this is just a quick one for you guys um, for the early morning, just to give an idea of where I think the stock will go. Um, in terms of you know, if you want to get early notification, I do this uh, little these videos early in the morning before the stock market even opens. So don't forget to subscribe so you get the, the notification. And if you like this type of content. Uh, don't forget to give me the thumbs up. Take care, guys.